This is the Transportation TV News Update. I'm Tony Dorsey reporting. The FAA issued an emergency directive this week requiring operators of specific early Boeing 737 models to conduct initial and repetitive electromagnetic inspections for fatigue damage. In a statement, FAA Administrator Randy Babbitt said this action is designed to detect cracking in a specific part of the aircraft that cannot be spotted with visual inspection. The FAA's emergency directive follows the forced landing April 5th of a Southwest Airlines 737 jetliner after a hole opened in its fuselage. The news update continues right after this important message. Highway work zones are active both day and night. Are you paying attention? Four out of every five victims in a work zone crash is a motorist. Preventable injuries, unnecessary deaths. Patrick Mapleson died on the job in a work zone. And the driver not only speeding, he dropped his bottle of water and he reached down to pick it up. He turned the wheel and infiltrated the work zone and hit my dad. Whose life is on the line? Safer driving, safer work zones for everyone. National Work Zone Awareness Week, April 4th through the 8th. U.S. DOT Secretary Ray LaHood announced this week that as of Monday's deadline, his agency had received more than 90 applications from 24 states, the District of Columbia, and Amtrak for the $2.4 billion in recovery grant funds available for high-speed and intercity passenger rail projects. LaHood said via his Fastlane blog post that the total amount requested was nearly $10 billion. The $2.4 billion available was returned in February by Florida Governor Rick Scott. U.S. DOT Deputy Secretary John Percari told Transportation TV recently the Federal Railroad Administration will move quickly to redistribute the funds. It's clear that uh, governors across the United States see this as one of the tools in the toolbox for solving transportation problems that they've never had in the past. At the end of the day, transportation is about l is literally laying the foundation for America's future prosperity. This is one of the ways that we're going to do that. Highway construction is ramping up, and so is the concern about work zone safety. My father's a tough man, a Vietnam veteran who's overcome a lot of obstacles in his life. After being struck by a vehicle in a clearly marked work zone, the long process of rehabilitation will be one of his toughest challenges. Leticia Guzman's father, Robert Garcia, became the latest Maryland State Highway Administration worker to be struck by a car in a work zone. The March 22nd crash has left Garcia hospitalized with head injuries, but thankfully he's recovering. Just a little over three years ago, Lori Moser's husband, Richard Moser, wasn't as fortunate. He died on impact in a work zone after being struck by a distracted driver. Recognizing that Rick's death was completely preventable, I am outraged that other families must suffer such as mine has solely because of the actions of irresponsible drivers. On Monday, April 4th, surviving family lives. members of highway workers either injured or killed in work zone crashes were joined by state and federal dignitaries for the national kickoff of the 12th annual Work Zone Awareness Week campaign. This year's slogan, whose life is on the line? Safer driving, safer work zones for everyone. Work zone fatalities have fallen for seven straight years. But that still means that 667 people were killed in work zones in the year 2009. 85% of them were actually the motorists or, or the drivers or their passengers, and 15% were workers. Similar messages were delivered at work zone safety events across the country. AAA Southern New England and the Rhode Island DOT teamed up to illuminate the State House Dome Orange this week, and the Missouri DOT introduced the public to Barrel Bob. An 11 feet tall spokesperson for work zone safety, the eye-popping giant is made of recycled traffic cones and barrels. Missouri DOT will host the National Work Zone Awareness Week kickoff event in 2012. That's the Transportation TV News update. Thanks for watching.